Welcome back to Undercover Brick Boss. Today we're following Joshua Hanlon, the CEO of Beyond the Brick. Today I'm excited to be in Portland, Oregon to see what it's like to cover a LEGO convention on the ground here at Bricks Cascade. I'll be going undercover as a film student who's wanting to learn more about YouTube and creating videos. And for my disguise, I've chosen a bit of a hipster vibe, so I'll have a fake beard, glasses, a hat, and I hope it's enough to throw off Boone as well as anyone we run into at the convention. Bricks Cascade, here I come. Are you Boone? Oh yeah, Bart. Yeah, Bart, hey, Bart Narfel. thanks for the email. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. So this is Bricks Cascade. This is like, uh, you know, one of the typical conventions that we go to anywhere around the world. We're just trying to highlight fans of LEGO and the amazing creations that they build. So I know you're more familiar with the video side right. of stuff. Uh, you might need to get a little more familiar with the LEGO fandom that's here. That's why I'm here. That's, I'm that's hoping to here. really like right. both learn more about the video as well as all the crazy LEGO stuff that goes on here. Awesome. Great. Hey, thanks for, thanks for joining me Thank today. you. So this is it. This is where all the creations are, you know typically have like creations set in different categories. We got space, post-apocalypse, town and train in the middle there, and we got all these around, but typically our job is to just like find builders when they're by their build. And uh, if we think they're interesting, we think our viewers are gonna enjoy the videos, we'll, we'll stop them and, and have a chat. Sure, this is crazy, man. There's so much on display here. I can't yeah, believe this. Yeah. Hey, Perry. Hey, yeah. this is this is Bart. He Bart? is yeah, Bart. Uh, he's a film student here in Portland. He's yeah. just here to kind of yeah. learn a little bit more about what we do in the Lego community. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I'm glad you made it. Okay, so I'm a little nervous. Let's try this. You're good. Is it great, Bart? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just, is this thing on? There's a light there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, you got it. All right. Okay. So it's Bricks Cascade. I'm Bart here at Bricks Cascade, and I'm with Peter. We're going to be looking at it's Perry, Perry. Perry, Perry. I'm sorry, Perry. There it is on the badge. Okay. Yeah, like I said, just a little nervous. Okay. We'll start this again. All right. So it's Perry. Okay. Okay. I'm Bart here at Bricks Cascade, and I'm with Perry and the Ewok Adventure Land. So, you you brought this to the show. Uh, just kind of. Um, I guess, uh, take, take, take me through this, like, sure. what is this build? Sure, yeah, so this is an idea that came from Boone Langston. Uh, Boone and I built this, and the idea is what would have happened if the Ewoks built a theme park out of all the junk left over from the Battle of Endor. I don't know a lot about Lego. I'm, I'm new to this. Uh, I see this this like monorail track down here that yeah, I think is yeah, is yeah. really impressive. So I guess we'll wait for the car to come around. Okay. But tell me about some of these details down here. Like oh, uh, I'm well, again my bad man. Um, this is all very new. But I was yeah, just trying to point to like the Ewok yeah, yeah, with like the yeah. hot dog cart down there. Rule number one: Don't touch the creations. The uh, the cart, all those things, those are just little details that that just uh, hopefully bring it alive a little bit more, like uh, like it actually is Disneyland, that kind of thing. Yeah. What else? What else would you say is I guess interesting about this build? Let's see. What do we like? Well, there's a roller coaster in here. This roller coaster for people who watched uh, Lego Masters Season One, uh, Episode One. Boone and Mark built Timber Town, right? So it had uh, a lift that came up. And in, in that episode, it didn't quite work. It's been completely redesigned uh, for this episode, uh, for, for this show. And uh, yeah, we've done a bunch of things there. It's got a working monorail, working roller coaster, got a working Ferris wheel, uh, and a probe droid spinner. Yeah. And uh, on this side of it, you can see that it's a TIE fighter wing with pods. Yeah, so TIE fighter wing, pods. And the pods are made to look like all the different TIE Fighters that have come out over the years. This is so many Legos you have to collect to like do this build here. So, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to like step on anything. They probably break easily. So, uh, how many how many Legos do you have in your collection? So, all right, you can't call them Legos, Bart. It's Lego uh, or Lego bricks. Yeah, you can't. That's just one of those things. So, thanks for the tip. Yeah, no problem. And uh, what was the question? That's how many are in there? Yeah, it's a lot, man. That's a lot. I don't know, fifteen to twenty thousand, maybe more. Now, before I let you go, Peter, there's some other 
great details I, I've just kind of like noticed as I'm looking around here I don't know there's just a lot to take in and it's kind of overwhelming right now so I'm doing my best but like I see is this Admiral Aardvark in here uh this is like wow this figure it's the printing it's just great like what do, what do you think of this guy rule number two don't break the creations do you say Ar Aardvark? Admiral Aardvark? Admiral Aardvark? No, no, it's 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 one of the the, the Mon Calam Calamari. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what those are. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's okay. that's fine. And you're actually not supposed to touch the mocks. I should have mentioned that. Really? I shouldn't have to mention that, but yeah, I did mention that. You did. Okay. So like like if I come in and like like just kind of like oh my god like this just to get a closer look. Exactly what you you shouldn't. Please don't do that. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. Okay. You know what? Um, actually, there's stanchions here, and I don't know what happened to the stanchions. Maybe a little more distance. You actually, feel feel no, more comfortable. You said you were wrapping up, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, th I thought so. I there's, we should probably cover job. other things. I think you did a great job. Yeah. Thank you. I I need that. Right, Thank thanks, you. Bart. So I didn't feel like I did a great job at the interview. It was definitely harder than I thought it would be, and it's really opening my eyes to what Boone goes through on kind of a daily basis when he's covering a Lego convention. So that didn't go very well. Uh, let's take a break and see if we can regroup and pick back up after that. Based on what I've seen today, this seems like a pretty difficult job. You've got a lot of people to interview, and then you've got to take all those videos and edit them and produce, you know, the kind of the final product, I guess, that ends up going up on the, the YouTube channel. So what's that like for you? How, how does that work? Yeah, you know, it, that, it, editing, it takes a lot of work. I've been a video editor for a long time, and mm -hmm. it, do, it doesn't get easier. You know, the technology keeps moving, and, and right now, I have this challenge. I, I, my headphones broke. Wow. And I, I don't have a good set of headphones, and I, so I'm, I'm taking care of my kids during the day. I'm up late at night trying to edit, but I don't have headphones, so the the you know that beyond the brick music, bling -a ding -a ding, comes mm -hmm. on, and and they wake up at night, and so then you know not, they're not sleeping, I'm not sleeping, the video's not getting, the video's not going to edit itself, am I right? Exactly. And so you know, in the end, it just it it's a, it's a vicious cycle. And I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, without a, without a, uh, without a, an angel coming down and giving me a, a new set of headphones or something, I just, I, I can't see life getting any better. Man, that's tough. How yeah. old are your kids? They're eight and five, and uh, they just, you know, they're a handful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I love them, uh, but uh, you know, when they, when they're not sleeping at night. And I'm not sleeping at night because I don't have headphones and I'm trying to edit these videos day after day after day. It's tough. Boone's story about editing videos for Beyond the Brick and the struggle he's having with his two kids uh, really touched me and I'm excited to see what we can do for him to make his job easier and to make Beyond the Brick content better. If our employees aren't happy, then I know our content is going to suffer. Not sure that Bart is going to be successful as an interviewer based on what I've seen so far. Uh, so perhaps we can see if he can be an asset to be on the brick as an editor. So from the email, I, you've got some experience editing video. I think we should... I, a gonna... little bit. I've done a lot with Windows Movie Maker, so I've got some experience. Windows Movie Maker? Right. We use Adobe Premiere. You... Okay, I think I'll figure it out as we go along. Okay. Um... Well, so, you know, when we do LEGO conventions, we interview as many people as we can in the weekend, and we right. want to streamline that process, so we really like to keep the editing simple. We try to do it in one take, we put on the intro, we put on the outro, and that, that's, that's pretty much it. Adobe Premiere is a fairly complex tool to use here. I've, I've watched a few videos online about some tutorials, so I've got a good idea. One thing I, I noticed right off the bat here was, so you, you mentioned the intro, so you got the Beyond the Brick intro. I've watched some of the videos on the channel, so I'm familiar with how it works. You've had that for a while. Have you thought about maybe mixing that up and trying a different intro or something like that? Um, yeah, we update our intro when we feel like the brand, you know, it needs a, needs a refresh. Okay. No, that, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Sat down with Bart to uh, talk about some video editing, and literally the first thing he wants to do is make changes to our brand intro. It's not the kind of help we need from a brand new intern right now. 
So let me start checking out some of the features that this program has here. I'm gonna see if I can get the hang of it. it looks like we've got. So this is the audio clip mixer. Okay. We probably don't usually need to use that. Let me see if I can go down here. Um, we've. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, close this. You don't. So. You gotta uh, get. You gotta get rid of this. Okay. Okay. Oh, All there. right, here we go. Here's the, this is the, you know, the preview window that we use to see the, the video that we're editing. I gotta go talk to Jeff. I'm going to leave you to uh, take your hand at the editing here. I'll Sounds be right Sounds good, back. thank you. I thought Bart had some editing experience. I'm gonna leave him alone for a few minutes. Maybe he's nervous because I'm sitting right next to him. Uh, uh, we'll see what he comes up with here. Hey Boone, so I took a crack at this intro and I'm really excited to show you what I've got. I think it'll really help improve the videos going forward. Oh, okay, let me see. Now that Joshua has experienced the struggles of producing videos, it's time to reveal his true identity. How's it going, Boone? Do you hey, recognize me? Uh, yeah, Joshua. Joshua Hanlon, the... the Founder of Beyond the Brick. Exactly, or as you might know me, Bart Narfel. Bart, Bart Narfel? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Have a seat, I'd love <laughs> to go over the day we spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Are there like. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, man, but I so enjoyed the time we were able to spend together. <sighs> Just seeing you out there, like your, your passion for Lego, your passion for Beyond the Brick, uh, the work you put in on a daily basis was just incredible to me, both shooting videos as well as editing. And I can't tell you enough how much I enjoyed spending time with you. Oh. I was really touched by the story you told me about your two daughters and how you're always trying to keep up with the editing schedule at home and that struggle with your family and then them not getting sleep and you struggling with things and so I'd, I'd really like to help you out with that here. I've got you a little gift that I hope will make the job easier. So you mentioned your need for your, some headphones. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I can thank you enough. This is gonna change my life. You're so welcome. I, I really know, know what will improve both the content as well as the job you can do. But I also really sounds like you're, you're close with your daughters, so I wanted to, to give you something a little special to go get them, a little gift or something like that. I hope, I hope you can get them something nice. <laughs> Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Thank you, Boone. You're a big asset to the company. Thank you so much. And I know we'll be better for the work you put in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joshua. This You're is, welcome. This is... <laughs> I so appreciate the time that I've been able to learn more about the company here at Beyond the Brick, and particularly Boone, your job, and what you do on a daily basis. It's, it's really meant a lot to me. Oh, man. Thank you so much. This. This is, this is gonna change my life. And I, I mean, I, my future would be on the brick. This is, uh, I'm blown away. I'm speechless. <laughs> That's I'm amazing. Speechless. We want you here at Beyond the Brick for many oh. years to come because you do a great job. So if this will help you do your job better, then I'm happy to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you.